District of Houston is locked, unable to make navigation corrections or interpret the data coming from Eagle's computer. Armstrong and Alter and Hartman are on. Mission Control decides they can go ahead. If the data link doesn't fail again. 1,000 feet, and Neil Armstrong can see that the computer is proposing to put them down in a dangerous place. That landing site is full of boulders. If they land there, they will never take off again. At 350 feet, Armstrong ignores his computer navigation and veers away from the rocky landing site with no time to explain to mission control. Okay, I'll fly some colors next time. In mission control, everybody is stunned. At 300 feet, the Eagle has left its flight plan and taken off at full speed across the face of the moon. Eagle, Houston, it's defense to fuel. Come on, over. 90 seconds of fuel remaining. Now less than 200 feet, and the Eagle is too low to safely afford back into orbit. They call this part of the flight plan Dead Man's Curve. All that's left for mission control is to read off the fuel remaining in the seconds. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. The entire moon landing has come down to two men and one minute. A short time later, history is made again. Okay, Neil, yeah, we can see you coming down the ladder now. For one incredible moment, we are one people with one history, watching our destiny unfold. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. I was a kid building rockets, you know, in high school, and then we would go to the moon. 
you know, before the end of the, uh, of the century. I mean, I thought that was something that was way out of future fantasy. We've got to understand that as a people, we need to stretch. We need to reach beyond our grasp. We need to strive to do things that seem impossible because in the accomplishment of them, we move society forward. Boy, isn't the beauty of this life is just absolutely incredible. One of the astronauts has said those hills that we climb give our children and grandchildren a different perspective that they see the mountains that we could be sitting in. And so what we consider impossible, they're dreaming about. Three, two, one. chance to talk to kids, uh, I tell them, the first thing I tell them is to take the word and pump the water to the Go to the teacher tomorrow morning and scratch it out of the dictionary. It does, the word doesn't exist. If I can stand here and tell you that I live in a world, that I called home in my home for three days, you tell me what is impossible in this day and age, much less in a generation that follows much less into the 21st century. Nothing is impossible.